Today we're going to be opening up three of the Icons of the Realms Boneyard Booster Sets. This is the newest set from WizKids. I got this direct from the D&D Minis site because I was not able to get these from my local store. Boy, I hope one day to be able to get stuff from my local store again. But I figured I would just kind of get them from the D&D Mini site and see what's going on. There was actually a delay in me getting these, and I think that's because of the little extra miniature promo set here. The Kobold Skeleton promo. Now, if I was able to buy these from my local game store, then I believe the special promo would have been Orc Skeletons. But I did want to test out the D&D Miniatures site and see what kind of promo thing this is. You know, the package is, you know, pretty plain. Uh, but the miniatures, uh, at least with the renders, look pretty cool. So we'll just have to see. So uh, let's get started. That's kind of cool. This is uh, specifically a warhorse skeleton. So the plastic on this is actually nice and nice and uh, giving. Not much of a chance of anything breaking off from this. Uh, I like that. I'm thinking that this maybe could have been done differently. Maybe not a flight stand, but uh, yeah, I like that. It's pretty good. We get. Three more miniatures here. So we have a Death Slod. Have a pretty good material on that. Decent sculpt on that. We have a little miniature. It's very lovely translucent will-o'-wisp thing. So I like stuff like that because this is actually a little bit difficult to make, you know, yourself. And then we have a big chunky miniature, which I assume probably could have been a huge miniature, but they did make it a large miniature. So this is a bone whelk. This, this is the big old snail that makes its shell out of bones. So we got some big old giant bones in there. Maybe some sort of dinosaur bone. Maybe some sort of dragon bone. It's got a frill of... Uh, Stuff in there. You get the massive bones there and the smaller ones on the side. That's a pretty nice miniature. That actually looks a little bit better than the... Uh, oh, I saw renders and preview images of this, and this actually looks a little bit better. I like that. Bone Welk. Oh, we, got a, we have a huge miniature right off the bat. And for the huge miniature, we have the Skittering Horror. Which, again, the material on this I really like. This is definitely durable material. This is what I like to see with pre-painted miniatures. That you don't have to worry about stuff. You could toss this in a bag. And I don't think there's much of a chance, even though it's on a flight stand. Because they have these uh, big old chunky quasi-flight stands now. So this would actually be... This is a pretty durable miniature right here. And I like the, I like the material it's made out of. And yeah, it's a simple paint job, but an effective one. A skittering horror. I like that a lot. That's a nice miniature. I'm glad I pulled that. Uh, we have a wraith or a wrath. Translucent gray miniature. Very nice. Very nice sculpt on that. It's not exactly humanoid. It's not exactly the classic ghost. It's nice and uh, kind of uneven, like wisping smoke or ectoplasm. Uh, we have a ghoul, the classic ghoul accoutrement of carrying around a human arm. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, and to go along with the ghoul, we have a ghast, I believe. Yes, it is a ghast. The classic... Sort of a more upper tier undead, the ghast. So that's very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, the sculpts on these are okay, and I think the material is a little bit durable on all of these that I've seen in the past with WizKids stuff. So, well, for our center miniature, we have the classic carrion crawler. 
but more of a less of a greenish colored thing in the path. Yes, this is more of a more a subdued kind of brownish tan color. Carrion crawler. I believe I actually have a carrion crawler right on my desk here. I was using for this is the Reaper version that I painted in the. Uh, this is the Reaper version that I of the carrion crawler. Though I'm sure they call it something different that I kind of painted in the classic green. And you can see here, I don't, I don't mind this. I like this miniature. Very nice. Uh, we got a couple more. Let's do the smaller ones first. The Avatar of Death. The Avatar of Death has a translucent blue scythe, which is much different than what you normally see with these. So that's actually kind of cool. Uh, it's got the little bit of extra uh, sculpting there. A little hourglass there, which is nice. A little extra bit of detail on that. And uh, yeah. Death is pointing you out, reaching out. The avatar of death itself, not a bad little miniature, not at all. It is another one of those Will of a Wisp, which again, even though it's a very small miniature, I don't mind having a duplicate of a Will of a Wisp because again, uh, making something like this would be a little bit difficult, kind of a pain to do myself. So it's nice to have miniatures that you can't easily repl replicate with your own crafting skills. Ah, and what do we have here? We have a Mind Witness, which uh, has come off its little flight base here. This Mind Witness has actually snapped completely off. I thought this Mind Witness was actually... Um, I assumed the Mind Witness was actually uh, not snapped off, but yeah, no, that's snapped off completely from its stand. Okay. Well, that's a that's a bit of a shame. Gosh, that is a bit of a shame. Look at that. See the the little bit, the little bit left in the Mind Witness there is actually just flush. So this is going to be a little bit of a pain to get this thing back on its thing. I could try gluing it with uh, some more powerful goo, which is a real shame, because this is a nice, it's certainly a nice sculpt. Now the paint job uh, leaves a little bit to be desired, but they did a pretty good job of using simple kind of techniques to go darker on the tentacles on the bottom. And, yeah. I, overall, it's very nice. It's just a real shame that that snapped off in the transport. Uh, well, I am very happy with uh, the stuff that I got randomly here. I definitely was interested in the Bone Welk, so I'm glad that I got that one. Because this is a cool idea for a miniature. I like the idea of just massive, like, graveyards of, uh, like bone and stuff that different animals kind of adapt to. So we have the bonus, I'm sorry, the promo. We have the Cobalt Skeleton promo here. And we have a lovely little, oh, they have their own little container here. It is a massive pain to do a skeleton at this scale, but uh, this pulls it off pretty good. These are nice. Pretty dynamic poses here. So for a promo pack, not that bad at all. I think I did pretty well for my pickups for this Boneyard set. And again, I really like the WizKids sets, which have the larger miniatures and the more durable material. If you compare everything, honestly, durability, I think, is your biggest selling point for pre-painted miniatures like this. Durability and just ease of just buying something, putting it on the table, not having to worry about it breaking. I mean, that's that's honestly the biggest selling point of pre-painted stuff. Just ease of use. And as for the D&D Minis site itself, once I'm able to order from my local store again, I think I'm going to be doing that.
I mean, I just, unless there's something super special, which is unique to the D&D Mini site, I just think the customer experience of buying from my local store is just so much better, and I feel better about supporting them. Again, unless there's some sort of miniature that I want and is very much over MSRP everywhere else, but it comes back in stock at the D&D Mini site, I'll buy it from there, but otherwise I think uh, I'm just going to wait until I can buy from my local store once again. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion about this set and what you're going to be doing for buying miniatures in 2021 in the comments below. Have a great day, and as always, thank you for watching the video.